Hello friends, happy Sunday. I feel like I'm never really live on the weekends, but I felt inspired. So I thought I would come on here and hang out with you guys. I also have really fun try on to do here on Facebook in a little bit too. So uh, when you come on, say hello, let me know where you're watching from. I'm gonna go ahead and put my shopping link right here in the comments. So this is where you can find all the makeup and the tools and everything I'm gonna be using. And then also if you, haven't already done so i so 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 appreciate it when you guys click that share button so bottom left hand corner click that button share it to your page that one when you get your makeup in the mail you can do your makeup with me um we can do our makeup together on the replay um so let me know where you're watching from let me know if you're new if you've never seen one of my tutorials before go and hashtag newbie in the comments so i can welcome you with some some flair and we'll get started Ignore my gigantic Mount Everest on my face. <laughs> I'm not going to lie though. Every time I have like a gigantic blemish like that, I'm always like, yes, now I can show them how good the coverage is. <laughs> uh, glass half full, I suppose. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and use our Liquid Touch Foundation still. I am so stoked that this is on sale so this is actually 25 percent off for the rest of the month so if you haven't grabbed it yet make sure you do by shopping rayahope.com if you need to be color match for the foundation or any other makeup products that we have comment color match down below and i'll private message you and we'll get you all set up with makeup and or you can go to rayahope.com scroll to the very bottom and request a color match that way also so make sure you do one or the other. And then when you're shopping your makeup, make sure you shop at rayahope.com. Scroll till you see shop makeup and click there. That's my link. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll get started. So I'm going to apply it a little bit differently today to show you guys like how the different options are. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it with my fingers. So something to be like more when you're doing it this way, make sure that you have clean hands. That's gonna be like number one thing. So if you are trying to ball on a budget and you don't wanna get the brush and the blending buds, this is also another option. We're using it in the shade Taffeta today. So we're gonna just continue to dot this around. And this also is gonna to help to kind of give you more control of how much coverage you're getting. Um, so we're gonna go in with the blending buds now. So these are from Unique. You get a large and a small when you buy them. They're only, I think they're like $17, which is a killer deal considering they last for like months. So this foundation is good for all skin skin types, whether you have dry skin or oily skin. It has a nickname called the liquid gold because of how phenomenal the coverage is. Also has an ingredient in it that helps to produce collagen. So it actually helps you to like age backwards. Um, and you get the most control of the coverage meaning if you're wanting full coverage you can achieve that if you want lighter coverage you can achieve that too this makeup is mask friendly if you are going to set it i would personally say though however the best mask friendly foundation would be the spray foundation um if you have if you are a nurse and you're wearing a mask all day that's probably what i would do if i were in your your shoes um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and apply, just blend this out all over. So another reason that I love applying with the blending buds the most is because you're going to get instant gratification with your coverage. You're going to get an instant, soft, fuller coverage with your foundation. So if you're experiencing um, your foundation looking patchy or looking like it's just sitting on your skin, highly recommend to grab the blending buds from Unique. I promise you, you will thank me later. I'm going to go in just a little tiny bit more and cover this little blemish and then wherever else we want a little extra coverage. The blending buds are damp, yes. So I always wring them underneath water, squeeze them until no water's running from them. Then they're ready to use. So when you first get them, they're gonna feel a little bit damp, uh, or I'm sorry, a little bit dense, which is totally normal. They're gonna break in the more you use them and then the more you wash them too. So kind of a pro tip um, when you get them, give them a few washes, wash them a few days in a row which how to wash them i use i actually have a whole uh igtv and a reel and a youtube video on how to wash your makeup brushes and sponges um all you have to do is search raya hope on youtube instagram pinterest wherever and you'll find me so um wash them a few times and that'll kind of help to like break them break them in 
I always compare them to like a good pair of shoes. When you first get them, they might give you a blister, but then once you wear them in, they're going to be like your best shoes ever. Won't know how you looked without them. Same vibe. All right. So now that we have our coverage on, which as you can see, so good. And this was the liquid touch foundation in the shade taffeta. All right. So I'm going to show you guys a new, not a new concealer trick. I've done this trick before, but I feel like a lot of people have missed out on it or haven't seen it before. I'm going to cover that blemish bow show. So we're going to use our skin solution concealer in the shade organza. So here's a little trick for you guys concealer wise. If you're experiencing your concealer like creasing a lot or creeping up a lot underneath your eye or say you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles under that area and you don't want a heavy concealer in that area. So you're going to dot your two on either side of your eye. You're going to take your damp blending bud from Unique. You're going to start on the inner corner and then work down. See how I still haven't gone underneath my eye? Work down once that's starting to blend, then work upwards. I always do up and over my eyelid, and then we're gonna fine tune that. So this is gonna be the best method for you for applying your concealer if you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles or are experiencing a lot of creasing or just you're not happy with how concealer sits on your under eyes, you're never happy with it, try doing that little trick and let me know how you like it. All right, and then of course we're gonna cover that blemish. Boop. All right, so now that we have our concealer, so again, we're kind of sticking with like a lighter form of foundation coverage, but we're still getting full coverage. So how we're achieving that is liquid touch foundation, skin solution concealer with that little trick and the blending buds. So like I said, the foundation is 25% off until the end of the month if you have not uh, gotten color match or you're not sure what color you are in this whether for winter or summer make sure to comment color match down below to get a full recommendation and or go to Raya Hope scroll to the bottom and request a color match so now we're going to set our makeup and make sure this blemish literally disappears so we're going to take a dry beauty blender this one's from like Walmart spritz it with our setting spray to get it to really cling on to our setting powder which we're going to use the touch behold translucent setting powder there's no color to this so we're going to tap it into that product and then I'm going to go ahead and go in wherever I get oily, greasy, shiny, whatever, making our makeup look bad, basically. <laughs> or if you have to wear a mask, obviously you're going to use it heavily in that area. So what this is doing is this is basically like preventing all of those oils and those sweat and the humidity from moving our foundation around but it's also creating kind of like a little buffer between our foundation and the rest of the world and it also helps to minimize the appearance of pores so it's great for blemishes because it's going to help to shrink that area up for lash extensions you can use all of these products yes and actually for lash extensions the way i applied it today will be the best method for you all right so now for this baking method, I always sweep away any excess because we don't want a ton of this product on here. We just want it to simply absorb any of those oils and things like that and then vanish. Okay, so now we're going to set the rest of our foundation and I'm going to use the pressed powder. If I use eyelet foundation, is lace concealer light enough for under eyes? Yes, I think lace would be perfect if you were eyelet. All right, so we're going to go ahead and blend. I always do my neck first just to make sure everything blends really nicely into my chest. And then we're going to use the big giant kabuki brush and just message me for the link to this guy. And we'll, we're going to apply this all over, just like so. And now this is going to be amazing for evening out the coverage. It has shea butter and vitamin E infused in it. It also has a UV protectant. So it's really, really healthy, really moisturizing for your skin. So even if you have dry skin, you can still utilize the pressed powder. The new formula is phenomenal, especially if you have more mature uh, combination skin. All right, so now for bronzer, we're going to do the beachfront bronzer and then we're going to do the tapered blusher brush. Listen up for contouring tips and tricks on this one because this is the like magic combination for getting the perfect contour. Even if you have like, if you're struggling with contouring or say you're just like, I can't get it right, definitely try this. Um, my rings are almost all from Lavender Blue. My diamond ring is my wedding ring. It was custom made at Leo Hamels. A lot of people ask about that. I'm like, I can't link my wedding ring, but that's where I got it. Yes, I will message me and I'll give you the link to the brush. All right, so we're going to tap our 
brush in all over to the bronzer swirl into the cap is key and then we're going to go from the top of the ear towards the corner of the mouth and then i'm going to go ahead and go back and forth very light handedly into that hollow so like make that fishy face that is exactly where you're going to want to pop this once you start to see a line forming stop what you're doing and then swirl over that area Jen 52 in September, I've gotten age sweats and struggle with big pores in my nose for years. Jen, message me. Let's get you all set up with some good makeup and skincare. I used the Liquid Touch Foundation in the shade Taffeta today, and then I used the shade Taffeta in the pressed powder. And then the shade that I'm using for the bronzer is no longer available, but the shade Sunset is still available, and that one's a perfect neutral shade for all skin tones and skin types, except if you're a little bit darker, like more tan than I am, then I would do uh, Malibu. The emerald ring is from Lavender Blue, I believe. I've had it forever. I'm pretty sure that's where it's from, which my code with her is Raya20. All right, so for contouring your forehead, you just basically want to stick it in like the uh, like the edges of your, of your forehead. You're going to avoid the center. Yes, all the products I'm using are unique. Minus like, mm, minus a lip liner. Everything else. That's crazy. That's cool. <laughs> okay, so now for the nose, pinch the brush and then sw uh, swipe it down the edges of the nose, bottom of the nose, under the lower lip, all creates shadows there, which will all kind of give you the great illusion of being one, skinnier, tanner, making your makeup look like it fades and matches better, and overall just makes your makeup elevated. It just makes everything look better, to be totally frank. All right, so blush, we're gonna do the shade Sisterly, which is clearly my favorite, and we're gonna use the Setting Powder Brush. So this is my favorite brush for blush because of how fluffy and soft it is, so it applies it very lightly on the skin and very, um, like you don't have to blend it. It's just very like, just there. So it's really, really great. Oh, yay, Jen, I'm so glad. I hope you use my launch link when you order. All right, so we're gonna pop this on the higher part of the cheekbone. So when you smile, that apple, you're gonna stick it right in this area above the contour. So it's essentially to go highlight blush contour and it's totally okay if things overlap. If anything, that just makes everything look more blended. So it's totally okay. For highlight, we're gonna do the Touch a la Mode Luminizer and we're gonna take it in the shade Pearly, popping this on the bridge and tip of the nose and then highest parts of the cheekbone. I always say this when I use this product, this is a really great product if you are getting bored with your makeup and you just want a little bit of a zhuzh like just kind of spice things up a little bit without breaking the bank so again touch the mode luminizer shade pearly looks stunning on all skin tones and it just like illuminates your whole makeup look um lisa i would probably do the brow duo which is the um palmade and powder i think that is the easiest to to be honest um today i'm gonna use the pencil though so if you want to compare the two. I personally would do the twisted over the 4D only because the twisted helps your lashes grow while you're wearing it. Thank you. My necklaces are from Amy Waltz. I'll go ahead and give you guys the link here in the comments and my code with her is Love 15 Okay so for brows we're gonna go ahead and sweep any foundation that got in there out. Did you use a new foundation? I used the Liquid Touch Foundation in the shade Taffeta. All right, so now for brows. We're gonna do the Brow Sculpting Pencil, which this actually has argan oil, vitamin E, biotin infused in it. So it's actually helping your lash, or your, sorry, your brow hair grow and become healthier and more fluffy the more you use it, which is so, so cool. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go from the tear duct straight up and we're going to take this pencil and we're going to use a super, super light hand and we're going to basically just etch a little line there. On the top, same thing, etching a little line on top and instead we're going to take this line all the way to the arch, which typically, a little trick, is take your pencil and align it from the corner of your mouth and go upward like in an angle. And that's where the angle, or I'm sorry, that's where the um, like height of your arch should be. Of course, everyone's face shape is different, so it's okay if it's a little off, but it's a general rule of thumb. 
All right, so now that we have kind of the shape of our pencil, or I'm sorry, of our brow, then we're gonna follow the tear duct up and then etch a little teeny tiny little line there in the front just to kind of cap it off. So now we have the complete shape. This is the shade brown in the pencil. And again, if you're not sure what color you are, just comment color match down below and I'll message you. Okay, and then now we're gonna color in. And then we're not gonna like color into the point where it looks perfect. We wanna color it into where I still have kind of little sparse areas that don't have any color because then we're gonna take this one, this little brush, and we're going to comb, brush, kind of smoosh the product around because it is more of a cream base, has a gel-like uh, product infused in it. So it's actually helping to lay down the brow hair into place. It's smudge proof, waterproof, phenomenal. So Sarah, I try to go into really great depth on each product on how to use it. Um, so make sure your sound is all the way up so you can hear kind of the different tips and tricks for application. Um, but as far as like what products are best for you for super duper beginners, message me and I'll give you a full recommendation on what products you should be using. No, totally not weird. They always say like sisters are sisters. Eyebrows are not sisters, they're distant cousins. So totally not weird at all. All right, so now for the other side, which look at that difference, you guys. Click the little thumbs up if you see a huge difference in my brows. This side looks so much higher up. The whole like side of this face looks just elevated, so much more framed than this side. Um, I don't know if I like it better, but it is really nice that you don't use a lot of the product. So it's actually a better save on money, which is nice. So I do like that. And I also do like that it has the really healthy ingredients that help your brows grow, which is really nice for you guys because I feel like a lot of times um, that was a big thing asking, like a big question I was always being asked, like what to use on eyebrows to help them to grow back. Hashtag over plucker over here. <laughs> um, so I do like that about it. All right, so now we're going to follow the same kind of rule of thumb for this side as well. And then go over on this side with the brush and then swish and smoosh. Just like that. And I also do like this one, that this product is waterproof. The old brow pencil is still available if you did like that formula better though, but it's only while supplies last, so I would definitely make sure to grab it ASAP. I do think adding more of an arch does frame the face more, but if your brows don't have a nat natural arch, it can look odd. So I would just stick with your natural shape. Brown is the color I'm using. Okay, so now for eyes, we're gonna do, first of all, the eyeliner in the shade Perfect, which is actually on sale in the Eye Essential Bundle. If you are all about sales like I am, the Eye Essential Bundle is a really good deal, especially if you've never tried any unique products before because it's on sale and it comes with some of my absolute favorites. So it comes with your eyeliner of choice. So whether you want the pencil or the like liquid dip and draw, uh, which is like our liquid liner. And it comes with either the Twisted Mascara or the 4D. And then it comes with your choice of liquid eyeshadow. So that's on sale, Eye Essential Bundle. And then I use the shade Perfect in the eyeliner, which I love because it's super, super smudge proof, crease proof. It doesn't crease proof. That doesn't make sense. But you know what I mean? It doesn't smudge or smear, give you like raccoon eyes by the end of the day. All right. So for today's eye look, I'm going to start off with my ride or die eyeshadow, which is the shade Astute in the pressed eyeshadows. What's really cool about the pressed eyeshadows is you can buy them individually for like $12 or you can custom make your own palette. So you get to choose all the colors, which that's what I prefer personally. I feel like it's a better deal because I'm actually choosing colors I know I'm gonna use every single day versus buying a palette and you only use three of the seven. You know what I mean? So this is a really good deal because you get to choose all of them. So we're gonna use the shade Astute, which is the perfect like crease slash transition slash base color. I use it with every single eye look and we're using it on the fluffy crease brush. Uh, I enjoy watching your line, your top lid, never seen. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Practice definitely makes better with that. All right, so we're going to work this into the crease like so. And then we're going to go in with the shade Impish, 
which is kind of like a corally pink or a corally brown, sorry, not corally pink. And we're gonna focus this kind of on the outside and then throughout the crease. My ring, I believe, is from Lavender Blue, I think. Or it's from Pink Lily. I'll have to look. I'll report back. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we're gonna work this into the crease. And this is a really pretty color for eyes because it's gonna give you like that sun-kissed look versus um, when you're doing your eyeshadow and just kind of like all blends together. This really helps. All right, then I'm gonna quickly take my liner brush and grab the shade Marvelous. And I'm gonna just underline my line, my waterline with this. And this is gonna kind of give that eye look a more cohesive look. And it also helps to make it all look kind of smudged out, which is nice. Ah, thank you. Yes, I will definitely message you for color match. Perfect. Um, if you're not getting notified when I go live, make sure to head to my page, Raya Hope. Make sure that you have the notifications turned on and make sure you like and are following the page. There's a difference. Um, and if you have before, I would just double check your settings. Sometimes Facebook unselects things on their own, which is annoying. Um, so make sure you check that. So head to my page, Raya Hope. And then also making sure that you're engaging with my page, which if you're not sure what that means, that means liking and commenting on the posts that are on the page. Um, if you're not engaging, if you're just like a silent watcher, Facebook kind and Instagram, take that as like you're not really interested. So you're not going to be like seen and shown my page. So make sure to head to my page, Ray Hope, like and comment on like 10 posts in a row. That will kind of tell Facebook like, hey, I like this page, show me. Um, so make sure to do that too. All right, so I'm gonna take a deluxe style brush and we're gonna spritz it with the setting spray just really briefly. And I'm gonna take the Moodstruck Beloved Palette 3 and I'm gonna take the shade Bewitched, which is this like really pretty gold, kind of matches my bangles. So I'm gonna take that on here. So this palette is really cool. Um, it was limited edition, but it's still in stock. This one was really cool because these powders are actually more of a cream base. So you get like a really gorgeous, pigmented application um very very easy to use it does have slight fallout so just keep that in mind but i'll show you how to fix that and i'm going to take this deluxe brush and instead of like sweeping or swiping i'm literally just tap tap tapping this on and we're going to not take it all the way i'm going to kind of fade it out into the outside corner and then do it again on this side so kind of pressing this product on so again this is the shade bewitched from the beloved palette 3 which is still available underneath eyeshadows they're all kind of really pigmented metallic colors but they're so stunning each and every single one of them ah thank you and again if you need to be color matched for any of the products that i've used make sure to comment color match down below and then also make sure to take advantage that the Liquid Touch Foundation is 25% off for the month. So if you know what your winter shade is, if you know what your summer shade is, I would stock up while it's on sale. All right, so now that we've kind of applied that all over, I'm going to go back in with my fluffy crease brush and just kind of touch the edges up and grab again the shade Astute and Impish, kind of mixing those two colors together and apply. I actually have many tutorials doing this makeup on my mom who is in her late 50s. So if you haven't seen one of those tutorials, make sure you catch those on the replay. They're underneath my video section here on my page. All right, so just touching up and then we're gonna move on. All right, and then once you have like finished, then I always take like an empty brush and I'll just sweep away any eyeshadow that may have fallen. Um, knowing what colors look together, look good together kind of is just like a trial and error. Uh, but honestly, like you can make any colors like mesh together if you're using like a good neutral with whatever color you're using. So for me, the good neutrals are these ones right here. So this is my go-to palette that goes with every eye color. This is optimistic, astute, impish, and marvelous. Are the colors and they're all available individually or you can build a palette like I did. Now our cat clover has been missing for like th almost three months so as sad as it is we're pretty much 
you know, we pray that she's alive and she's safe somewhere. We'd be amazed if she came home at this point. But for the kids' sake, we're kind of moving on. I love every like you do. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, so now let's set our makeup and then let's do lashes and lips. All right, so for setting our makeup, I always swear by this. This is the Touch Behold setting spray. I do that product before and after my primer. I do it obviously when I'm done with my makeup. This is going to take away the makeupy look. It's going to take away the powdery look. It's going to help to prevent transferring. Those who have to wear a mask all day, it's a really good product for that to help to um, prevent the transfer. Um, but honestly, my favorite part about it is that it just takes away. It makes everything settle. Adds that moisture that your foundation and your skin needs. So we're just going to fan this dry. And then we're going to do our lashes. So first thing we're going to do with our lashes is the lash primer. So we're going to go from the base lash all the way up. And then this is going to hydrate the lashes. And it's also going to help with length. So if you have really small or short lashes, starting with this product will really help you, especially if you struggle with getting your mascara like all over your eyelid. And then we're going to go in with our twisted mascara, which like I said, this is on sale in the eye essential bundle. And we're going to go from the base lash all the way up with this. This is the mascara that makes your lashes grow while you're wearing it. Always get the back side of your lashes. I love the little intentional bristle brush on this. I feel like it gives you perfect separation every time. Yeah, definitely a fun eye look for fall. All right, so. You could do as many coats of this as you want to. Yeah, I've heard so many stories about cats coming home like six months, couple years. So, um, I mean, it would be amazing. We would be, I'd ball like a baby if she did come home. But for, I have a seven and a five year old and like to keep their hopes up like that and not like give them closure. I feel like it's a little cruel. So we're just, as a family, we've put out that we pray that she's okay and we're, we're going to move on. We're not going to, you know keep calling her at night, you know, cause it's kind of messing with my kids' heads. So we're moving on. Um, okay. So we're going to go in with the smaller wand now and apply this all over. Oh my gosh. My lashes have not always been like this. My lashes were short and stubby and super thin and I swear by the combination that I use, that's how my lashes have gotten to be like this, which is the Lash Primer, the Twisted Mascara, and the Esteem Lash Serum, which I use every single night before bed. That combination has literally given me like the, these lashes. Okay. So now for a little extra zhuzh, we're going to go with the 4D Mascara, which is the one that has the fibers infused in it, just for fun. And now we're going to do our lips, which I love lip combinations. I think this one that I'm about to do is one of your guys' personal favorites. So hopefully you like it still. So we're going to go in with a Cheapo Lip Liner by NYX. This is in the color Neutral. And we're going to line our lips. Okay, definitely not my favorite lip liner, but it is what it is until Unique gets their act together with lip liners. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the matte opulence lipstick in the shade Moneyed. Now, these lipsticks are my favorite. So amazed at the formula. They're creamy, they're matte, but they don't, um, they don't like peel or crease or make your lips super dry and uncomfortable. They're incredible. The lash serum helped me after my chemo eyebrows finally growing back, and it's from the serum. Oh, I love that, Debbie, and congratulations on being done. 
I would also make sure to get the new brow products, the brow sculpting pencil, and then the brow duo. Both of those actually have similar ingredients that the Esteem Lash Serum has. So if you want to just like elevate your lashes even more, definitely, or I'm sorry, your brows even more, definitely check that out. All right, so moneyed is going on. All right, so I kind of just threw that on because now I'm going to fine tune it with my lip liner. Oh no, you misunderstood. I love our lip liners. What I don't love is that we only have like non-nude colors. <laughs> we don't have any browns. We don't have any nudes. Hopefully that changes. But that's what I was saying. I love our lip liner formula. It's phenomenal. It stays in place. They're only $15. They're so, so good. I just wish we had a bigger variety of colors for people who wear nude lip colors like I do. Yes, cruelty free. All right, so now for the, the color that kind of changes up this whole lip look, we're gonna go in with the shade Minted. All right, so we're gonna apply that right in the center and blend. Okay. Isn't that so pretty? I know I wasn't a huge lipstick wearer either, but these ones are like some of my favorites because if they don't feel like you're wearing lipstick, that that's my least favorite part. When you feel like you can't like do things because you're wearing lipstick, you know what I mean? That's why I love the, um, the matte ones that I just used. All right, so now let's elevate this lip look and we're gonna take the Hottie Lip Plumper, which is in stock, hallelujah, and on sale. And I'm gonna go in with this. And apply this all over. Mm-hmm. Finished. Perfect. So this is the Hottie Lip Plumper. This is going to not only plump your lips, but it's a high gloss. You could wear it by itself. You could layer it on top of any lipstick combination. It's in stock and on sale in the July special. You get to choose between the Hottie Lip Plumper or the limited edition nude Hottie Lip Plumper in the shade Refresh. So you can buy two refreshes. You get two of the regular. You can get one of each. Plus you get the lip exfoliator, which is like a sugar scrub phenomenal for dry lips. So you get all three of these on sale in the July special while supplies last. So don't miss out on taking advantage of that too. Oh, you're sweet. Light brown eyeliner as lip liner. Yeah, I think that's a little too dark for my skin tone though, but that's a good idea. Or maybe even the blonde. Hmm, I should try that maybe. All right, guys, so that was a whole makeup look. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to tune back in here in about five minutes for a try-on with Pink Fox. I know you guys love watching fashion try-ons. So I will be live in about five minutes to do that here on my page, Raya Hope. Like I was saying in the beginning of this, if you're not getting notified when I'm live or when I'm doing things, make sure to head to my page, Raya Hope, like and comment on 10 posts, and make sure that you have liked the page and that you're following the page, two things, it's a difference. Um, make sure also follow me over on Instagram and do the same thing. Go through 10 posts and like and comment on them. I'm also doing a giveaway over on Instagram where I pick one lucky winner um, to get a happy mail from me. And all you have to do to enter into that is like and comment on each post. So make sure to like and comment and I comment back every single day and randomly select one winner to get happy mail from me. So uh, to enter into that, it's only on Instagram. Search me Raya Hope there and make sure you enter into that. So I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.